All right, okay, so this is the video on how to calculate the patrol density or patrol coverage density, patrol percentage of patrol coverage within a specific park. So the first thing we're going to do is in SMART, we're going to go to Query and View Queries. Now under your patrol effort, there's this patrol coverage query. You can double click on it and open it up and make sure that it's sitting for all patrols and click run. Now what you're going to do is you note at the bottom here the projection so that uh, in this case it's UTM 36 South in I have to have that, that basically in projected so that I can create a grid size of a thousand meters by a thousand meters. I'm doing it on distance kilometers um, and if I look at my map results that's it there. So it looks pretty intense at the moment which is fine but I go query and I export these results because these results I want to now bring into QGIS to do the calculations. So I'm going to export it as a GeoTIFF file so that it's geographically referenced. I click next and I save it in the correct location with um, the right name, etc. And I say save and I say finish. Remember when you're running a query, in this case I've done on all dates, change it here before you run it. Make sure you select it as the last six months, the last quarter, etc. before you export the results. But be aware of the date, time, the frame of the specific result. So I open up my QGIS and I import that specific raster file. So this is it here. And I click add. Immediately you can see here there's some issues which is fine, I'm just going to, I can go and have a look at the styles and, the, and change the type to unique values. I can choose a specific thing and all I do is I actually just remove the negative 99 and the values that are not applicable. In this case, this negative 5 here shows you that there's problems with Okay, so that's my patrol density map of all this information, or overall density. So what I want to do is I want to do the calculations now. So I go to raster, and I convert, I'm going to polygonize it. So I'm going to create it from a raster to a vector so that I can create the areas and all that kind of information. The input layer is the overall density. Don't worry about that. That's just what it is. And I can create a field here, Just I'm just going to leave it as is. Then I save the result here. Okay, so overall coverage, I click run, and let's see where it is there. So now I can open up the attribute table the values here. Well the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say please select all the fields where BN is equal to negative 9999. I click select and then because these are values that are non-existent Current selection, close, and when I edit it, I can delete those specific features. So when I save, you'll see there's a change there. There's immediately a change there. Okay, so we're not out of the woods yet, but we now need to go and do some calculations. So the first thing I need to do is open up the attribute table of my newly created layer. Um, in this case, there's 7,428 fields or attributes. So I edit and I create a new field. The first field that I'm going to create is 
um, area. And I want to do it based on square kilometers or hectares. Okay, it's up to you. So if I do square kilometers, I'm going to do the decimal. 5. Okay. Now in order to calculate this, my project has to be in square kilometers. So I go to project, properties, and make sure that the units of measurement are square kilometers. Also, if I open up the boundary of my protected area, I make sure that there's a size. So there's size hectare, so that doesn't help me. So I go to create one here as well. Create new area square kilometers. And a decimal. Okay, okay, so now I can calculate it. So I'm going to calculate this one first. So update an existing. Kilometers and then I go to geometry, double click area, so that's us. click OK. Square kilometers gets filled in there. Uh, end and I save my changes because I'm going to need this for later. So, what I can actually do so, so long is I can actually uh, select that. Or control C. I need that for my calculations. So here I can first do square kilometers. So I calculate. So it's going to calculate the area of each um, specific cell in that file. So I click OK. So in this case, it's normally one kilometer by one kilometer. So then I create another field called total. So this is uh, basically, so I'm going to basically do a sum of all of these values and just fill it out there. So it'll be the same value for everything, but it'll be the total of this. So I calculate, update the existing one that I've just created. So total, um, aggregate. Um, and it's going to open a bracket, so I sum it on that specific field. So, square kilometer, and then I close the bracket. Click OK. And that's my total of my square kilometer of my patrol coverage. So now I need to create another one called percentage. So this is the percentage of the coverage that's taken place. Okay, this is where we need that value. So, if I update this existing one, percentage is the field, so it's the total square times 100 divided by that square kilometer value there is the square kilometer coverage of my specific Okay, in this case, there's 99% coverage, 99.7% coverage. Okay, so there's my percentage coverage of patrol coverage overall. Now, remember, this patrol coverage is covering aerial vehicles as well as foot, and it's for all dates, so it's over a period of, in this case, five years. So I can stop editing and save, and then this can be my nice map. Um, and I can also go and symbolize it if I want. I hope that helps you, and good luck.